Hello everyone and welcome back to another PHP programming tutorial. So in the previous video we worked on editing a section and today's, uh, today we are going to work on uh, well removing a section and then working on articles okay so let's work on removing a section so first things first uh, to remove a section we will add a button here now obviously this is um, a rendering uh, of uh, the page rendering this is list sections this is the name of the method or the action and basically we created a rendering page with the same name so if we go to the administrator we have list sections there you go all we have to do simply is to add another button so this is the first button which is edit and we will just add the second button and this one's gonna be similar just remove section and the, the parameter here is what it's the ID of the section to be removed and the text we want to display is remove so we save we refresh and we have a remove if I click on this one I get redirect to remove section uh, method here right so let's go now to the administrator to add uh, the logic needed so in the control part I go to the administrator uh, right and I need to go um, this is gonna be a little bit similar to edit section so to speed things up I'm gonna copy edit section and paste the text here and now I will update it so what happens with a remove section okay first this is gonna be remove section that's good I make sure that the administrator is logged in <coughs> sorry I get the ID I open connection to the database I load things here then finally I uh, I call the rendering of remove section now one last thing just to keep the naming uh, consistent this is not section edited it will be section removed or actually, to be removed but anyway yeah now I want to preview the section being re removed in the remove section page okay so for this I will go to edit section I will just copy this and I will paste it in the same location this is gonna be remove section and enter there you go now let's update things First of all, the action, I will also use a form. I don't have to, but I could use a form here. It's just an ID that is needed. So do remove section in this case. Okay. And I will pass the section ID. Now the title will be remove section. And this is going to be the section name. Uh, no, this is not section edited I'm sorry this is gonna be removed so section removed section removed section removed and section removed and section removed okay so we have these guys now let's continue so what do we have first this input box will be read only okay we just want to view this so read only the next one will be read only as for the last property which is status we don't need a drop down list or a combo box but rather we are going to display on value so it will be also uh, input uh, read only and name equal I don't even have to set a name but you know just to make things consistent section uh, status value equals 
section removed arrow status and we close this one that's awesome and yeah we don't need these guys okay so this should do it i think and instead of edit this is going to be a remove there you go and i think that's it so let's save this let's go back to the page go back uh, i click remove in here and you can see i'm pressing buttons nothing happens same same i could press back to go back i press remove I now press remove and I get redirect to do remove section. So I don't know what to do with do remove section. Okay, so far so good. So now, you know, now we need to add the logic for actually removing the section. So let's go to the admin. It is kind of similar to the logic of do edit section. Okay, you will see that most of the code will be similar from now on with a few changes here and there okay so things will be a little bit faster it will pick pace faster anyway processing a removing section so here do remove section good make sure that the administrator is logged in i don't need these properties okay i already have the id passed so this validation is not needed um, although it doesn't hurt if you have it but you don't need this one okay so now we get the parameter and um, this is gonna be a section removed we get the section by ID removed okay so if there's a problem uh, we will be redirect here finally what are we gonna do is this section removed I'll just say remove okay otherwise could not remove section and this is gonna be okay so what happens here I need to add a method called remove to the section class for this I need to go to the lib and go to the sections there is this update statement I am going to create one similar okay and I will call it remove there you go so I will say delete from sections where section ID equal question mark so this is only an integer which represent the id of the section and we don't need all these parameters we just need this parameter to be processed and that's it it's very straightforward okay so uh, when i call the remove method of the object it will use its id to call the database and remove itself from the db very straightforward okay so now let's go back and go back again I want to press remove for the lakes and remove and now what do we get you can see lakes has been removed okay so now we finished removing what removing sections that is great now let's go to the progress page uh, sorry uh, to do we finished administrator remove right okay in the progress part very simply we do this finished removing section section by the administrator awesome so okay so um, I will just come here and commit the changes. Awesome. Now, what do we need to do next? Well, next thing is to work on the what uh, we work on the uh, articles. Okay. 
So it is going to be something kind of similar. So I will try to go quickly on these. Go to the database, go to the script. Here we will create um, an article. This is going to be artic articles. Okay. So this is going to be what? It's going to be article ID it is not null and auto increment article name there you go not null not uh, null and this is gonna be um, article content okay so this is gonna be let's say 5,000 characters or something like that and we have published okay so let me rearrange this one to make it a little bit readable for you guys okay so this is the article id okay uh, the primary key this is the article name okay this is the content of the article and this is published and its goal is to state whether the article is uh, published or not and we need something else which is article date okay okay i'll proceed everything with what the keyword or the sorry not keyword but the word article okay and what do we have finally so we have article id name content published date okay if we need extra things we will add them later on now there's something that is very important i didn't add yet each number of articles belong to um a section so section id Okay, so in this case, this is not uh, a string of our chart, it's going to be an integer. Very straightforward. And let's go to the primary key part. And the primary key is what? This is going to be article ID. As for the unique field, um, we could make article name to prevent duplicate article names okay so yeah so this is the uh, sorry uh, this is the part of uh, that has to do with defining an article so I'm gonna copy this and go to the PHP my admin and go here give it a second please oh look okay so let's select cms okay now we press equal I wonder why it's so slow anyway we paste this and next we press go okay so we have the articles table in here now as you can see okay we have article ID name content published article date section ID all looks well okay so in terms of our to do we finish this one very quickly okay we save let's go to the progress okay so finished creating article table 
Now, since we finished this one, we move to the next step. Uh, first, let me just do this commit. All right. So here, we commit the changes. Okay, good. Now, we need to create the class for articles. Right? So, let's go here. A new file There's going to be articles php and enter there you go i will copy the code of sections and then um, i will update things accordingly go 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 there you go let's see let's go where is articles there you go we paste things here good and what do we have okay so we are going to include the database access. Uh, we are going to include the log. This is the class articles. There you go. And what do we have in here? We have, okay. Let this structure so that I see the fields. Uh, okay, we have article ID. Article ID. This is the first one. We have article name. Article name. There you go. Next article. What? Article content. Content. There you go. Next we have article published. Article published. There you go. And this is going to be. Uh, no. Not published yet. And what also do we have? We have article date and section ID. Article date. And we have section ID. And this is going to be a minus one. I think that will be all. Oops. Okay, so let's go to the insert part. So how many parameters? One, two, three, four, five. So now we have five parameters. Okay, so insert insert into articles. Okay. And I'm gonna full article name followed by article content. Okay, followed by article published. Published. There you go. And article date. Article date. Um, you know what? Rearrange this like that. And we have section ID value. So how many values? We have one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. And we have one, two, three, four, four strings and an integer. So four strings followed by an integer. Now the parameter. So we have we have this our article name followed by this our article content. Followed by this arrow article published. Followed by this oops. This arrow article date. Followed by this arrow section ID. Right. Uh, yeah. These are the parameters and I should turn uh, true. Now, if we remember from our previous implementations that the execute only can handle four parameters, not five. So I just need to update this. So let me just jump here quickly and add the five parameters. Okay. So this is going to be number five. There you go. And four, five, six, 
four. Yeah. We finish this one. Let's go back to articles. So you finish this one. Very straightforward, I suppose. Next, we go to the update. So we have update articles. Articles set article name equal something. Uh, article oops. Article contents equal uh, something else. Uh, article published, right? So article name content published equals something. You know what? This is article published and then we have article date equals something and article uh, no, section ID equals something where article ID equals something so what do we have we have one two three four five and six so I have four strings followed by an integer followed by uh, another integer, right? Because, because article names is a string. This is uh, the contents is a string. Uh, oh, I've not, there's no S in here. So this is also a string. This is also a string. This is also a string. This is an integer and this is an integer. This is why. Okay, so now, okay, so this is going to be article name. Next one is going to be article content. Next one is going to be article published. Next one is going to be uh, article date, article date. Next one is going to be um, this arrow section ID and last one is going to be this arrow article ID okay very straightforward and enter okay I suppose that will be it very straightforward and the removal delete from articles articles where article id equal question mark and this is going to be this auto article id and yeah now we need a method to get articles articles and what do we have six are from articles there you go will get me all the available articles later on we will improve it to get the uh, we filter them by section but that will be later we just want to do things a little bit quickly so here we are going to say this these are what sections articles and there's going to be new articles uh, let me make sure that the spelling of the class articles. Yeah, it's uh, okay. Articles, not article. So this is going to be article ID, article name, article content. This is going to be article published. After published, we have article date, then we have section ID. There you go. And okay, just to make it a little bit more readable. Okay, so this is going to be article ID, this is article name, this is article content next one is going to be article published next one to be article date and last one section id okay this is going to be um 
articles. Okay, that's fine. And I will return the articles array to the end user. We save. Okay, finally, get article by ID. Article by ID. So I pass an ID of an article and get it loaded. Section from articles where article ID equal something. So invalid is going to be article ID. Uh, article ID. So object equal new article. There you go. Article or articles. Articles, right? Let me make sure of the spelling. Oh, articles within this. Okay. So I need to fill this object. So instead of uh, there's going to be zero, right? So instead of these. Control V. I could fill them one by one, but I could do this simple trick. Okay, so yeah, now it's done, and we finished the class. So I haven't tested it yet, but it should work. And if there's an error, we will fix it later on. So in the to do part, we create the article class. Okay. Let's go on to our progress. We finished this one. Finished creating article class. There you go. Okay, so now that's it. Now, the next step to our to-do list. So we need to allow the administrator to first list the articles and then add them. <clears throat> To do that, we need to go to the administrator homepage. So, in the pages part, in the admin part, in the home page part, there you go. What do we have? We have this one, right? So, this one is being used to um, manage the sections. So, we are going to here. And another page, this is going to be list articles. Okay. And this is going to be called manage articles. And let's save. Okay. So let's go back to here and I'll press back. And you can see here, this is manage articles. Okay. Very straightforward. Yeah, there's something like a line here. I'm not sure. Anyway, well, hmm, could that be a problem? The code? I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, maybe I could reverse it. If I reverse this one, it should work. Anyway, it doesn't matter for now. I will leave it as it is. But manage sections is still work, works. And if I press manage articles, I will get an error because List articles has not been implemented in the admin control. To do that, let's go to the control part. Let's go to the admin and we will search for list sections and we are going to update, uh, create something similar for listing actions. There you go. We copy this one. Let me go to the end. Of the code okay so here there you go so let's update this accordingly a process list articles articles now before I continue let me make sure that I included the articles in here now, apparently not so I will just copy this and paste it it's gonna be articles there you go and now we go down in here. All right, so this is going to be list what? Not list section, there's going to be list articles. Articles. There you go. Make sure that administrator is logged in. Open database connection. Get list of articles. There you go. 
So this is going to be articles equal article and get articles. Okay, just to make sure, because I'm not sure about the spelling I used. So in the class, first the class is called articles and the method is what? It's get articles. That's good. So we have articles, colon, colon, get articles. Okay, that seems like okay. And if all goes well, I need to go uh, call the rendering page, uh, the rendering page for the admin that's called list articles. Articles, okay. So let me go to list sections and make a copy and we will convert it according to the articles. So here, I will just copy this one and I will paste it here, rename it list articles, press enter. Okay, that's awesome. So we have this one, close the search, go to the beginning. Okay, so instead of manage sections, there's gonna be manage articles, that's awesome. So we have name. Uh, we we don't want to have a description. The description will represent the content. You can display them all. Instead, we will have the uh, published. Uh, let's say date, the date of publishing, right? Uh, let me see the fields. We have name, content, published. Uh, date okay so we have name uh, date published okay and what also do we have uh, we could get we could render the section it is in but for now we will leave it as it is without a section just want to do something quickly and we will continue the work later on okay because don't want this video to be too long so I will loop on all the articles right so this is gonna be what articles 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 this is gonna be uh, article name oops article name this is gonna be uh, what was it? Article date. Article date and article published. Okay, article published. Okay, very straightforward. And we have to use or uh, say articles or article ID. And this is gonna be, oh, this is not in a section, but rather edit article. Article, almost missed it. Remove article. Uh, this is gonna be articles, article ID. Okay, seems to be about right. Next, we have what? Add article. Article. Okay, add article for the user interface, and yeah, that's it, we save. Now, all I have to do is to just, you know, um, go, if I refresh in here, uh, manage articles. Okay, obviously I am having an error. So let's have a look at what the error is. So open the log and click in here. Uh, no more than three parameters is implemented. Uh, okay, I mean six parameters, not three. So let's go back to the database access. Yeah, it's here. So let's add the six parameters. Sorry.
that is number five awesome now let's go back in here and manage articles okay so a similar error let's go to the log um, we delete we save okay and manage sections should work go back manage articles and it failed uh, let us refresh go here go here it didn't work so there's a different error uh, basically let's go to the admin here and let's go to list articles so I will put a breakpoint here and add the debug in here and debug there you go and now I will just manage articles there you go okay so this worked open database connection that's fine get articles oh I am reading articles and checking for sections obviously this is wrong and this is why I'm getting this error okay so let's stop debugging and now let us refresh this again and manage articles still having an issue obviously um let me go back into here and listen for xd park okay manage articles okay so if it is set then open database get the articles and yeah it's a zero array that's fine oh, wait a minute oh i know why i'm getting this issue right now because i don't have any um any row in the array okay so this is not an actual error but rather a f like um because this is an empty array uh, it is not working it is like null if that makes sense okay i wonder if i could use a set if uh not a set something like that okay because if you trace it out it's array of zero it's an empty array so let us also continue this one and now we will see manage articles let's have a look so f10 f10 open this one and okay so articles in here i will just choose this one and add to watch yeah so this is set no if it is not set oh sorry I am very sorry this is what when you type things a little bit hastily and you end up doing errors all over the place manage articles again and continue to the next breakpoint I get the values this is a true so now we go to the rendering um, so f11 go here go here go here now the count of this should return zero if i add this to the watch it's zero so nothing's gonna happen i don't get an error okay that's fine okay so we we have this worked for now let us just add a row for testing okay so i will say insert okay this is going to be article first day of the year it was an awesome day for example and it's published 2022 something like that oh sorry uh, it is published sorry and the date is like this and this section id I won't set it to any section I will just put minus one and hit go so now I have a single row in the database okay because if I go 
and click on articles I should see the row over here now in our page fire fresh I should get the row oh sorry let me stop the debugging and refresh again first day of the year blah 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 so you can see we already managed to create the page the class the table in a much shorter time uh, okay in the next video we will finish adding an article and editing and removing it hopefully with a little trick regarding linking it to the sections part so um that will be all for today i hope you find this useful thank you for watching and bye bye